public interest. Uh, discussion, Senator Gallagher, you are in continuation. Senator Canavan. President, um, I would uh, like to speak this morning about uh, the trucking industry and, uh, and safety. Uh, and uh, I do so um, with some familiarity with the industry. My father in law is a truck driver, my uncle is a truck driver. Um, and I realise firsthand how important safety is in that industry. Um, it has a, a, uh, a much higher fatality rate than most industries, about 10 times uh, the fatality rate in the trucking industry compared to any other industry or the average, or average across industries. It's something that families always live with when they have members of their family in that industry driving long distances. Right now, my father-in-law is somewhere between Wagga Wagga and Lightning Ridge uh, on another uh, long haul drive. Uh, in the 12 months to March, 207 people unfortunately were killed uh, in heavy vehicle accidents and in 180 heavy heavy vehicle accidents is a very very serious issue and and two years ago uh, this place in this place we established a, a, um, a road safety remuneration tribunal to help try and deal with these issues um, the so-called safe rates legislation um, and uh, at the time I remember thinking I don't exactly know how this is going to deal with safety I remember it going through um, but it was something that was pushed by the Transport Workers' Union at the time, uh, and they were able to get that up through the then government. Uh, the, uh, we've heard last week how, at the Royal Commission how that the, uh, uh, the president of that union, Mr Tony Sheldon, um, uh, had uh, used money in a McLean forum that he'd, uh, he'd been able to control um, to, to, to leverage that, that, those funds, to help him control other unions as well by funding campaigns in the Health Services Union, uh, the Flight Attendants Association of Australia, uh, and also the Electrical Trades U Union. Now, that gives him a fair amount of influence, obviously, over unions in this country, or it did seem to, to say that, the evidence at the Royal Commission. But it's not just unions, of course, because when he has control of those unions, he also has control of the pre-selections for the Australian Labor Party. And if he has control of the pre-selections of the Australian Labor Party, he has control of the leadership of the Australian Labor Party. And unions are able to leverage that influence at that period uh, to get a lot of things out of the former government, a lot of things. And we saw a lot of those go through last year. But one of the things that did go, did, did go through was this safe rates legislation in 2012. Um, we know that they did use that influence because we know there was a meeting at Kirribilli House in November 2011 um, between Julia Gillard and union bosses. And a Mr Ferguson at the time said, and I quote, it was another Kirribilli agreement. It was a death knell for her government. She gave the unions everything they wanted. It was lock in behind me and I'll deliver for you. And she did deliver. She delivered uh, this safe rates uh, legislation, which was simply a sop to the trade, uh, work, Transport Workers Union that has not delivered any real benefits for the trucking industry or truckers themselves. Um, uh, there is no evidence that higher rates of pay lead to more safety. There was an OECD report in 2011 which broke down the causes of heavy vehicle collisions. It reported on the results of an International Road Transport Union study, and it showed um, that about 85 per cent of accidents involving heavy vehicles um, uh, uh, do not uh, account for um, driver fault, but only a quarter of those cases, actually it's the heavy vehicle driver who is at fault. A similar conclusion was reached in the Australian context by a 2003 study which found that in 82 per cent of motor vehicle accidents involving a heavy vehicle, the driver of that vehicle was not at fault. Um, I, I'm not a truck driver, I'm an economist, but I always felt that when you increase hourly wages or pay, you actually increase the supply of labour. You actually encourage people to drive more, not less. The whole reason for legislation was trying to encourage people to drive less and therefore be more safe on roads. That's an admirable goal, but I didn't quite see how that those two things were linked, and neither, neither did the regulatory impact statement of the government of the time. The government at the time had to do a regulatory impact statement on this legislation, and it itself found no link between high rates of pay and, and safety. Uh, at the, to the, 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 the regulatory impact statement itself, and I'm reading from it here, actually found that uh, it evaluated two options, and both of them came at a net cost of 44 million in one case and 228.4 million. Uh, in another case. There was no evidence there for its establishment. But by establishing uh, the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal, it has been very good for one group. It's been very good for those people connected to the Transport Workers Union because there's been seven members um, appointed to that tribunal 
and they've done quite well. There is the president, who is the honourable Jennifer a Action, whose husband was Bill Shorten's office manager. Acton, sorry. Okay, I'll correct the record. Thank you, Acton. Mr. Uh, the Honourable Jennifer Acton. We have the former senator of this place, TW, former TWU boss as well, um, uh, Steve Hutchins, is also on the tribunal. But Paul Ryan, who represents substantially represents a union, uh, an employer body. Sorry, but he is also reportedly close to the Transport Workers Union. All these people are being paid in the order of around ninety-five thousand dollars to sit on that tribunal, and they, that's very good. It's good for them. Good on them. But so far, we've had this tribunal in place for two years. So far, there has not been one remuneration order made by the tribunal that's actually increased pay for truck drivers. I know my uncle and my father would love to have increased pay. They'd love it. But they haven't got any benefits from this remuneration tribunal. The only order the tribunal has made uh, actually relates to duplicate state-based safety regimes, another layer of red tape for employers, which makes it harder for them to employ people in the trucking industry. It hasn't been so much safe rates legislation as mates rates legislation. That's what's happened here. That's what happens. The mates of the union have been able to come in and get lots of large S from this new body. I remember, I remember when this legislation was through, and Mr Acting Deputy President, I remember you gave a very passionate speech on the night about safety in the trucking industry. I was, very, I was genuinely moved by it. There was a bunch of people up in the gallery who applauded when the legislation went through. But nothing has changed. What has this body been charged with doing? What is it doing? other than to provide jobs for former union and former Labor senators. Um, <clears throat> Mr uh, Acting Deputy President, um, I'd like to conclude by just a couple of issues from that Royal Commission. As I started, Mr Tony Sheldon made some comments associated around that Royal Commission last week about the uh, safe rates legislation, including um, one where he said that uh, he reported on a, uh, a tragic accident that occurred uh, last week, uh, where a runaway garbage truck um, uh, had had an accident um, and, and unfortunately uh, killed somebody. Um, and he said at the time that we need the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal because it is, and I quote, one of the few mechanisms available to help enforce safe working conditions for drivers. So he used that tragic accident to try and call for this tribunal to stay. Now, um, in matter of fact, the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal does not apply to waste collection services, including garbage, garbage trucks. It has nothing to do with that industry. As a matter of fact, Comcare is the national safety regulator that does actually regulate road safety. And it has issued a prohibition notice, um, uh, but the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal has done nothing in response uh, to this accident. So the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal is not about safety, it's not about remuneration. It's purely about promoting TW bosses and securing their influence in the Labor Party.